Another day, another nasty day for riding, but I've been pushing myself to get to this video today. There are several videos I needed to make before we could get here. Uh, I did the stage one flash. I did the uh, dyno day after doing the stage one flash. I installed the Louis Moto seat cover because I didn't have a seat. Um, Michael Griffin from here in Austin let me borrow the seat from his bike in the meantime so I could make videos uh, when I had to go ride because I was stuck in the middle of the, the seat cover install. That's done. Look at this thing. How nice does this look? It looks even better in the daylight. I finished it late last night. I could see it in the garage and it looked amazing, but in the daylight, whew, it looks so good. You guys can see that uh, video link down in the description, but today is the day that I know you guys have been looking forward to for a long, long time. And that is the exhaust install on this bike. If you missed the reveal of which exhaust I got, it is the Austin Racing GP1R. Look at this thing. Look at it in all its beauty. Um, I got the black tip, the black ceramic can with the engraved Austin Racing logo on there. And the exhaust is, uh, the headers are Inconel and the, the pipe leading right up to the exhaust I think is titanium. I think it's that way on all their, all their exhausts. That is going on today. We're doing the install and you are gonna be able to hear the exhaust at the end of the video. They, the first one of their production on the full systems they sent out to me. I'm incredibly grateful. So huge thanks to Austin Racing hooking me up with one of the nicest exhausts that you can get for this bike. But we gotta get started. just took off the um, the slip-on portion of the exhaust and the servo cable and cables and motor that you see right here. You can kind of pull this out and this is after you've already disconnected these cables. You can basically just pull on it and it'll pull the cables up a little bit um, and then you can better access this uh, servo plug that you're going to either put a servo eliminator on or um, get it get an error turned off uh, in an ECU flash. This mechanism right here is controlled by the motor. Those cables pull this right here, which causes this little uh, flapper. There we go. You guys can see that right there. See a little little flapper right there that turns, which causes the uh, exhaust sound to change. Now I just gotta unbolt everything on the main exhaust and take that out. Easier said than done. I just took that O2 sensor off of this side. Forgot to hit record. I do have to take off the, uh, the side panel on the left side. Didn't do that yet. Um, and then I can take off the, uh, the other two O2, O2 sensors.
All right, so I've got everything done for removing the exhaust except for removing the header nuts. This is so tight in here that it would just be pointless for me to try to film this. So I'm gonna try to get this done. Um, the instructions say to remove all of them but one and leave the one on the right side just finger tight so that when you're ready to take off the exhaust, all you have to do is unscrew that last nut and then take out that bolt that I just removed from the, the rear right in front of the uh, rear wheel and then lower the exhaust out. All the nuts are off except for that one that I needed to leave. As you can see, these are kind of like those, I don't know how many points that is, um, but as long as you have a 10 mil wrench with all of those points. This is all you need to get every single one of them off. It's difficult. There is so little space in here. I don't know how I'm going to get them all on there and tighten them. Um, I will worry about that <laughs> when I get to it, but that's all you need. Just that 10 mil wrench. So I believe all, all that's holding it on is that bolt in the rear and the nut on the front. Then you just have to kind of uh, finagle the headers off, lower it out. I believe it requires some twisting manner to make sure you don't hit anything. I'm gonna try to get this thing off now. All right, so I took that bolt from the rear out. I just got the rear, this, the cat section of the exhaust just resting on this box. I just gotta freaking figure out how to get these headers out. <laughs> Six hours later. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. I think I have to start the rotating. Is the openings are going to turn, turn towards you. Okay. Let me turn it towards me first okay. so I can get this um, cross member to clear the air filter. Okay. Maybe we should just go out your side. Because okay. I'm pretty, pretty clear over here. Okay, yep. I got it. If you have a wife, I recommend asking her for help. All right, so I got the uh, new exhaust precariously balanced on my scale right now. So I'm gonna show it to you so I can take it off. 10.418416 pounds. That's what we're gonna be putting on. I wanted to measure it before I started putting anything. After uh, I get this on, I will weigh the stock exhaust. Um, so we can see what the actual weight savings is. You guys probably couldn't see very well actually taking off the stock exhaust. So a couple quick words of advice. One, there is a, a tab, and I think I mentioned it, there's a tab on the radiator. That is the main issue, the main thing that makes it difficult to get the exhaust, the stock exhaust out. The instructions actually say to take the exhaust out the right side. I took it out the left side because it ended up being uh, like how the exhaust was positioned as I kind of got it down past that tab and past everything else. It just wanted to come out the left side. So this is the hose on the right side of the bike that is gonna be in your way. I kind of uh, tipped the, the exhaust down to get it around uh, this. And so when it, once it was down past this, you could kind of lower it some more and then it just wanted to come out the left side. I'm gonna start getting the Austin Racing exhaust on here. I'm gonna put some anti-seize on all the uh, joints where things touch. In the past, whenever I do the first startup, the bike is gonna smoke. That's just the anti-seize, excess anti-seize burning off. The bike is fine, nothing's wrong with the exhaust. That's just what happens the first time you start it up. It'll smoke for a little while, then it'll go away, and it'll never smoke again.
the next day, I, right now, well, first of all, the exhaust looks freaking amazing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look how glorious that is. So I can't remember what I filmed and what I didn't film yesterday, but I finished up everything on the exhaust. I put on or tightened down all of the nuts on the headers. Uh, I put on all the O2 sensors and tightened those down. Um, a little tip, put a little bit of anti-seize on there, um, just on the threads, just a little bit um, in case you have to take those off. Everything is tightened down. The only thing I have left to do is start the bike up. But before I do that, what I'm doing right now, Bren Tuning set me up with a, a flash that's set up for having the Austin Racing exhaust on there um, and the Sprint filter. Motivation set me up with this. I'll link it down in the description along with the uh, other stuff always is linked in the description, but this is a, a high flow filter that I'm gonna be putting into the bike. But uh, right now I have the flash installing with the, uh, the handheld from Bren Tuning, so. You can run the bike without having a flash on there. Since it does have the O2 sensors, um, the bike will adjust a little bit, but if you wanna get the most out of it, you're gonna wanna flash. I already cleaned all of the pipes when I put uh, before I put it on, and then I used gloves when I was installing everything, so I shouldn't have any like fingerprints or anything like that, but just to make sure that the exhaust is completely clean, I'm gonna go over it one more time. Then we can start it up, make sure that it's running well, and then I'll put all the fairings back on along with the carbon fiber piece that Austin Racing sends with the exhaust since that whole underside is gonna be really open now. And uh, we'll go ahead and get an actual good startup with um, some revs. And then uh, after that, we'll get the old exhaust weighed and uh, figure out how much we saved. All right, so I got the uh, ECU flash done on the bike, got that disconnected. Uh, next up, I'm gonna get this air filter installed. Like I said, this is a Sprint air filter that Motivation hooked me up with. Uh, you can check it out in the description, but this is a, actually a polyester uh, filter rather than fabric that you'd see on most other air filters, you know, are soaked in oil. This doesn't have that. It's supposed to, I think, last like, 5,000 miles before you have to clean it and then you just rinse it off, let it dry and put it back in. But this is the P08 version that they have, which is uh, more street-based than track-based, but still good for the track. All we gotta do is uh, take the front tank cover off, then lift out the ECU and drop in the uh, the filter. Obviously take out the stock one, but get that put in and uh, then we can get the startup. <laughs> One bug, other than that, this thing is perfectly clean. All right, filter is installed super, super easy, especially if you've taken out the ECU before. Uh, if you haven't taken out the ECU before, you can watch the video when I did uh, the first ECU flash. I'll link that down in the description. Shows you guys how to take it out. But I'm gonna get this rolled out, start it up, see how it sounds, and if everything's good to go, put all the fairings back on, and we'll do all those other things that I said we were gonna do. Gosh, that sounds so good. I like how I'm in the shot in my renovation outfit. Colorful mountain pants. These are my 
working pants because they have paint all over them. So that sounds good. I don't see any problems. Oh my gosh, that's loud. This is, okay, they ship this without the DB killer. I didn't put it in, but from what I've read, a lot of people do run the DB killer in these exhausts because they are so loud. I usually take out all the DB killers, all the DB killers. Usually take out the DB killer from all my bikes. Usually, I always do. <laughs> I might put it, I might put it in. I'm gonna have to see how this thing is riding. Once the idle settled down, it pretty much was like the same volume as my toast on my R1, but it sounds so good. Okay, so everything's good to go, but I'm gonna roll it back in, get the uh, fairings on, and uh, then we'll do the actual sound test and weigh the old exhaust to see how much weight we saved. you that in a second before I show you that here is part of the exhaust uh, I tested weighing the whole thing on my little tiny scale it's over its weight limit so here's the first part um, it's kind of fluctuating but about 6.308 6.306 that is the uh, slip-on the servo motor and uh, what they call a pillow mount I think I'll get the other the, the massive portion right there I'll get that put on here and we'll weigh that separately. Okay, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm filming. aylan has been out here helping me, like the, the awesome helper that she is. Yeah, my hair tie. Your hair tie? You found a hair tie? I found a hair tie. Oh, man. Because that was my hair because it broke it. It broke? Because my kid doesn't go in my hair. It doesn't go in your hair anymore because it's broken? Because it broke it. Yeah, so that's that portion. I'm gonna get this stuff out and we'll put the uh, the big exhaust on here. All right, so I, I weighed the rest of the exhaust on uh, just the bathroom scale, 18.7. So along with the uh, uh, the other portion of the exhaust, which was 6.3. Ooh, Aylin, mommy's home. <gasps> mommy's home. So they include a carbon fiber piece as uh, so they include a carbon fiber piece with the exhaust, basically to fill out the area um, that is removed with the cat on the stock exhaust. And uh, that weighed 0.79 pounds. I, I showed it in the video when I did the, or the video after the unboxing, but this is what they did for me. Look at the custom carbon fiber piece that they did with my logo. There's a, a piece of metal here that they laser etched my logo on, and it looks amazing. But yeah, they uh, include this carbon fi fiber uh, piece right here that kind of fills out this area and attaches uh, on the other side as well. I don't think it would look bad without it, but I'm pretty sure they include the carbon fi fiber piece with it. So you're getting it anyways. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I'm so happy with how it looks. Uh, let's just show some cinematics. Last thing to do is start this thing up and uh, give it some actual revs. We'll do a comparison with how it was stock, how it is now. Not gonna have a, a test with the DB killer in, but if you guys wanna see that, let me know. I might put in a future video. Next video would be the first time riding the bike with the uh, new exhaust on there. I cannot wait to take this thing out on the toll road. But yeah, let's just get to it. Let's uh, give some revs and see how she sounds.
That is, uh, <laughs> that is loud. I, I think that might be the loudest exhaust I've ever had. And the exhaust I had on my first R6 was basically a straight pipe. The sound is incredible. I don't know if it can come across on my microphone. I'm gonna have to record some stuff from a little bit farther away to make sure. Hopefully it didn't uh, destroy the levels. In the next few videos, y'all are gonna be getting to see more of the exhaust. You guys have been awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a, an awesome <laughs> few days. I'm so excited to finally have the exhaust on here though. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll link it down in the description along with anything else that I mentioned in the video. Huge. Huge thanks to Austin Racing for hooking me up with this exhaust. It has been a, a, a dream of mine to get one of their bike, one of their exhausts on one of my bikes, and I, I don't think I could have picked a better one to do it on. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram to see all the pictures that I posted this thing. Otherwise, that's it. You guys have been awesome. Have a motonosity. Remember, life's better with horsepower. Keep life live, and I'll see you guys in the next one.